Um, so it's good. I love it. I travel. Uh, I, you know, I lived. I went to Japan for a couple of years. It was a good time because my grandpa always said, "You want to be a man, you got to go fight the Japanese." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> What? Like, so I went over there to the fight, and uh, I missed the war by 50 years, you guys. I was half a century off, so that was a little tricky. But I stayed over there, and I dated a Japanese girl while I was there, and, and the program ended, so I came home, and my friends found out, and they said, oh, you had a Japanese girlfriend, now you have an Asian fetish. And I was like, no, I have a woman fetish. <laughs> and I was living in Asia. <laughs> Two and two be foe. <laughs> That's all I mean. right? We adjust to our surroundings. Castaways don't have coconut fetishes. <laughs> you put a white supremacist in Harlem, in a week he'll be singing, We Shall Overcome. <laughs> armies shouldn't guard our borders. It should be our most beautiful women. And then when the other army shows up to fight, it's like, whoa, what do we have here? All right, guns down, let's go back to my place. This war is over. <laughs> yeah. 